Alrighty guys, this is Snugs on Blitz, and I'm back with another video for you today. So for the past day or so, I've been playing a lot of games in this tank, the STA-1. Why? Because I hate my life. No, because I just wanted to see if it is really competitive in today's gameplay. And long story short, no, not really. Um, and I realized that a lot of people are going to struggle with this tank. The Type 61 has a fantastic gun, but this tank, eh, all I can say is it's not a Type and it's not an STB. Anyway, let me break this tank down for you, and then we'll jump into three games today. So, first of all, gun, three out of five. DPM, three out of five. Penetration, three out of five. Maneuverability, three out of five. Speed, three out of five. Camo, three out of five. And fun factor, two out of five. Overall, I'm giving this tank a three out of five. But, and I'm saying that because I think for newer players, it might even drop down to a two. But anyway, let's jump into the first game. Thankfully, we're on this map for the first game, which is great news. Why? Because of the hilly terrain. This tank does have good gun depression. It plays very much like a Pershing. The only thing is I find the Pershing a much better tank. Why? I think the turret's better and it feels more mobile. It also got a buff recently. Why the heck the STA hasn't gotten any love, really? I think it might have gotten some buff recently, but it really doesn't feel like it. I'll tell you that. So anyway, uh, I'm going to help my bulldog in a second. Unfortunately, there was somebody at the door, so I had to go and answer that. So I'm running back to my game, and I will get in eventually, but you're just going to have to sit here and wait. Okay, there I go. Thankfully, the shark on their team has not come this way yet, but lo and behold, we have an RU who's decided to do a quick spotting run, and so I'm going to hit him. That's nice. So good start there. Um, our team has split up, so we just have to be careful. We don't really want to overextend ourselves too far just in case their whole team is over here. But that guy decides to push in aggressively, and he's going to regret that decision because he's got no support. Yeah, he's gone. So the enemy STA is gone, and this RU is just running all over the place. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. He is using his speed to his advantage and managing to go invisible. Not great news for us. It could cause us a lot of trouble. So I'm just going to peek on up over here and wait till I find out the, where the rest of their team is before I commit to anything too aggressive. So I've got one tank here. Okay, was able to hit him. That was nice. Oof. Yeah, so we uh, took out uh, their ISU. That's good news. But four tanks are still missing. Okay, so we got this guy here. I know that. We've got the shark there, I believe, right? So that's two tanks. I'm able to hit him, but he is a tough pen. Now, here goes our bulldog. He's pushed in aggressively. Unfortunately, he's going to regret this decision because he's got an AT-15, which is a very strong tier 8 tank. Not mobile, but... The shark is now coming back to help, and he's also got the M6 somewhere around it. So basically, it's 3v1. Now, would I like to push in and help him? Well, yes, but he just took a whopping amount of damage. So, yeah, he's, well, gone. <laughs> um, I don't know why you do that. I checked his stats later, but he's actually a 60% player. 62, maybe? I can't even remember. But I was like, why would I push in against a super heavy, an AT-15 that was not yet spotted, that has great armor and can be a real pain to penetrate, and a shark? I'm not going to tussle with that in an STA. Are you crazy? I'm not even that agile or mobile. So, yeah, no thank you. Unfortunately, he doesn't see it that way. As you're going to see in the comments, or maybe he wrote it already, I can't remember. But he thought I was a fool. Now, what he doesn't realize, and I didn't know either, is our STA has actually gone AFK. So we didn't even have our strongest tank in the game. 
This tank can pen those heavily armored tanks, but it really has to aim in. It's not like a type gun, and it doesn't have the turret armor of an uh, STB, so you really gotta play this tank with the kids' gloves, in my opinion. Zooming in, zooming in. Maybe I should have switched to gold shells, but we're winning this 5v3. And in a second here, the ISU is going to push on in and take all the attention away from me, which is great news, so I can zoom in and hit his weak spots. Come on. And now it's, what, uh, five versus two. So there's no chance they're really going to win this. He's gone as well. Good job, ISU. Thank you very much. I really appreciated that. And now I'm just going to switch to gold shells against this very heavily armored tank. Yeah, again, I can pen his cheeks, but he can be a real tough cookie sometimes. So now I've got behind him. He's not much of a threat in this situation. His mobility is nowhere near what mine is. So yeah, he is pretty much dog meat. And lo and behold, it's all set and done. Yep. So pretty decent game with the STA to start off with. Now, again, as I said, that German Bulldog was pissed, but what can I say? I'm not going to charge in against three tanks. That's just suicide. And lo and behold, uh, I asked you didn't do much, but taking the attention away from me is always appreciated. So thank you. Okay, moving on to our second game. This is a little bit better. Um, I am afraid of that Object 274. It is a strong tank. And the AT-15, again, is a tough cookie. But the one I'm really worried about is the CC-64. Now, my buddy here is in, in an Object 274 as well, so that's good news. Haven't played many games with him, so I'm not really sure of his playstyle. Again, I'm a little bit late to get into the game. This was a drink break. <laughs> I like to get a drink just after my game, so sometimes I hit start, and lo and behold, I can't get it right away because I've got <laughs> a drink in my hand, or I'm just getting a few last sips in. Now, their whole team has come this side, so I definitely don't want to be pushing in. Normally, I would have gone a little bit further, but I started late, and as I've seen that their whole team is coming this way, the last thing I want to do is give them easy shots. So I'm going to make it hard for them and make them come and get me. As you can see on the minimap, two of our tanks are all the way on the other side of the map. Now I know it's possible for them to be able to get some shots across the map. However, ideally I think it would be better if they continued on their push and lit them all up and cause them to kind of panic. But that's not happening so I just want to keep these two tanks honest not giving them easy shots and thankfully we have our tank destroyers sitting at the back so if they push on up which they are about to do we might get hit for their trouble so that's one shot in there here comes the CC 64 that's the tank I'm most worried about but it didn't aim in there so that's good news okay so my buddy hit the object on their team I hit him too so doing a great job here and my buddy really does a good job here he doesn't back up too far and doesn't push in too far so great move there and i'm going to take the attention away from him for a second as i have more health and let him just take it easy while i get ready to peek on out as you see look at this i'm just backing it up moving forward pretending i'm going forward getting ready and when I see my chances, oh, nice bounce there, so he's fired. So I'm just going to aim on in. And now the CC-64 is turning. Oh, he did hit me there, but unfortunately, he's not going to last much longer. He's gone. So, yeah, their two strongest tanks pushed on in. And they paid the price. Uh, don't ask me what I did right. Uh, I think the key was that we let them push in, we softened them up. On their approach and then we were able to take advantage of them when they came in close and they didn't have any support just my opinion it's pretty much all over now the gravedigger does have decent armor but not the best pen a lot of their tanks are bleeding 
So if you push on in here, we should be able to get rid of at least the RU and the Gravedigger in one fell swoop. I want the RU first, boom, he's down, and I'm gonna behind the Gravedigger. I will take some hits for my trouble. They're small little pens, but they are annoying, that's for sure. Thankfully, he's focused me and not my buddy, so he can get up behind him and finish him off. And lo and behold, there's only one tank left sitting in the back here. Now, this tank back here is a pretty strong tank gun-wise, but not maneuverability. And unfortunately, because we didn't push on in, he didn't have any targets to really shoot at. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty much game over, as you can see. This tank does have good gun depression, and another game and another solid win if you ask me. Did a little bit better this game as I came out with a first class, so not bad. Again, do I think this is a strong tank? No, I do not, and it's definitely not a tank for newer players for sure. In fact, it's probably one of the worst mediums in tier 8. Without really checking all the tanks, I would say this is probably in the bottom 10. That's my quick guess or assessment of the tank. Anyway, let's move into the last game. Okay, looking at the lineups. Wow, they are stacked. An E75 and a Tiger II, very strong heavy tanks. A T77, good armor, solid gun. A CC64, hull down beast. A Sent71, Hull down beast. Uh, and lo and behold, I believe our T49 has the stock gun. So, happy, happy day. All I can do is hope that we can get rid of their scent. If we work together, we may get lucky. And here he comes. Okay, he's taking a hit. That's good news. Nice work, T49. But he's not pushing on up. Hmm. Okie dokie. What to do, what to do, what to do. Again, with this tank, you want to take it very carefully, especially when you're bottom tier. Because pretty much every tank will be able to pen you pretty easily. So... What to do? Do I go back and help my heavies? Do I stay here with the T-49? Now I see another tank coming behind here. Hello, KV. Well, that's nice, because his armor could cause a lot of trouble for the scent. So I'm just going to push on in and see what I can... Oh, brother, the tiger came this way as well. Oh, not good news. So the tiger's got good armor. I will struggle to pet him frontally. Uh, thankfully, they're not pushing in, so that's the only good news I have right now. I'm a little bit trapped right here. Got a peek on out here. Bounce that. Luckily, he missed, so now I can... Oh, okay, but the scent's coming my way. Not good news. Now, I think he should have gone the other way around, because he could use his gun depression, but thankfully, he's given me the ability to go hull down. Kinda. <laughs> As I don't have the best target. Come on, guys, help me out here, somebody. Okay, I'm gonna take a shot sooner or later here, but ooh, nice. Okay, that's the first hit for me. And ooh, come on, come on, come on, get down, get down. Oh, I'm gonna take another hit, but can we get rid of the scent? Can we, come on. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Another hit, but he's gone. So nice work, KV4. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now, well, I'm down to my last health, but we were able to get rid of that Sense 7 one so that's good news, and this Tiger's not even looking at me, so I'm just gonna use my DPM now, and hopefully keep him in place, yes, look at that, track, 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 beautiful, could somebody else hit him, please, okay, well, I'll take him out, good, okay, so he's gone, and we're sitting pretty, five versus four, five versus, well, four versus four, four versus three, I'm sorry, but they do have a lot of health, that guy sitting back there. I'm just gonna take this nice and slow. I just don't want to be the focus of their attack. So I'm just gonna peek on around these ridges here and I'll look over here. Oh, lo and behold, what have I got? So I shot him there and somebody else was able to hit him. That's good news. Again, 
as I fired. I just wanted to get back under cover because any of these tanks can pretty much rip me apart. But now I think their attention is elsewhere, so I can push on in. Hopefully, can I take out this T-77? Would be nice. Oh, somebody got rid of that guy, so that's good. So T-77, come on, come on, come on. Can we get him? Can we get him? We need to get rid of this guy. Boom. Okay, and now 4v1. So fabulous. Okay, best possible outcome, if you ask me. Because now, this T-30 can take his attention. I can just come in around the side here and get a few easy shots. Yes, one shot. Oh, lovely, lovely. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, sometimes you just say thank you, thank you, thank you to the tank gods. When everybody's not looking at you. <laughs> and you're able to do this kind of stuff. Run away, and oh, T-30 finally got it. So while I did take a lot of damage early on, I did most of my damage after I'd taken all those hits, and not bad, 2,370, not as good as the last game, but also a first class. Is it easy to get masteries in this tank? Not masteries, but first class or second class, yes, because there are a lot of bad players in this tank. Came in second, I'll take it. Anyway, what do you think of the STA? Do you think it needs a buff? What do you think it needs if you do think it needs a buff? Let me know in the comments below which is your least favorite tier 8 medium. This one is definitely in contention, but of course we have to remember that the Panther 8.8 .8 and the T44-100 are in this uh, in the running. So, yeah. Anyway, that's all I got for you. Don't forget to hit sub if you haven't already. Tell your friends, tell your buddies. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Stugs on Blitz, out.